Now, this will be our last topic for your gram-negative kokai, your moraxella uh, cataralis. <clears throat> your moraxella cataralis was formerly or it was previously named as branhamella cataralis. Okay, so old name niya yung branhamella cataralis natin. Okay, this bacteria or this organism is a small, small gram-negative Uh, these are small gram-negative kokai organisms that tend to grow in pair, usually end-to-end -end with adjacent sides flatten. Okay? Aside from this one, they are also a uh, fastidious organism. Okay? They are fastidious organisms. They, are, they also have capsules. Okay? They are encapsulated organisms also. Okay, with pilay. May pilay din yung mga yan, class. Your moraxella cataralis. They are also non-motile organism. Okay. These are the general characteristics of your moraxella cataralis. They are small, gram-negative kokai, usually um, in pairs. Okay, in pairs, end-to-end -end with adjacent sides flattened. They are also fastidious organisms, encapsulated organisms with pilay. Okay, non-motile organisms and they are also oxidase. Okay, they are also oxidase and catalase positive. Okay. They are also oxidase positive and catalase positive. Okay. Now, ang pinagkaiba niya from Neisseria species, okay, your Moraxella cataralis is actually asacarolytic. Okay, asacarolytic meaning it is not capable of producing a carbohydrate in our carbohydrate utilization test. Okay, so generally they are considered as non-carbohydrate fermenters. Okay, non-carbohydrate fermenters. Now, most isolates of your Moraxella cataralis, okay, they are capable of producing beta-lactamase. Okay, most isolates. Of this bacteria, they are capable of producing beta-lactamase and uh, this has a great significance when it comes to producing clinically significant infection. Okay? Kasi your Moraxella cataralis, they are considered as normal flora lang naman. Okay? They are part of the normal flora of the upper respiratory tract. However, if the immune system is being compromised, Okay, they can actually turn into opportunistic pathogen. Okay? They are normal flora. However, kapag immunocompromised ang host natin, dun sila nagiging opportunistic pathogens. Okay? Causing now opportunistic infections. Okay? They are capable of causing several infections like pneumonia, <coughs> pneumonia, bronchitis, Okay, ano pa? Sinusitis. Okay, opportunistic infections like pneumonia, bronchitis, sinus uh, sinusitis, conjunctivitis, and otitis media. Okay. So, um, these are some of the several infections caused by your Moraxella cataralis. Okay? Your pneumonia, bronchitis, sinusitis, most commonly conjunctivitis, and even otitis media. Okay? Now, actually, your Moraxella cataralis is said to be, or it is considered as the uh, third most common cause of otitis media and sinusitis among the children. It is the third most common most common causative agent of sinusitis and otitis media especially among the children now let us go over with the laboratory diagnosis of your moraxella cataralis okay your moraxella can be easily differentiated from neisseria species 
by its lack of carbohydrate fermentation, di ba? As we mentioned a while ago, madali lang siyang madistinguish from your Neisseria species by this, uh, by using this test, your carbohydrate utilization test. <clears throat> okay. So, you can easily now differentiate the two, your Neisseria and your Moraxella. Okay. Neisseria species being the, uh, being the carbohydrate utilization positive, while your Moraxella, okay, carbohydrate utilization negative. Kasi nga, asaccharolytic yung mga yan. Okay, they are not capable of fermenting any carbohydrate. Okay, non-carbohydrate fermenters. Okay, aside from carbohydrate utilization test, madali ding mad, uh, ma-differentiate ang Neisseria from Moraxella uh, by using now your DNA test. Okay, we have this what we call DNA test. Okay. <clears throat> DNA production DNA production positive for Moraxella. Okay, DNA is positive Moraxella. While DNA is negative, Neisseria. Okay. So, if you want to differentiate your, uh, if you want to differentiate between your Neisseria and Moraxella, okay, you can um, perform this laboratory test, your carbohydrate utilization test, and DNA test, okay, kasi... When it comes to morphology, when it comes to morphology, mahirap ma-distinguish yung mga yan. Kasi pareho silang gram negative, uh, diplococci, ano pa, oxidase positive, catalase positive, and etc. Okay, now by using this test, your carbohydrate utilization test and DNA test, okay, it is possible now for differential diagnosis between the two species. Okay, well, in fact, your uh, Mor uh, Moraxella, sorry, Moraxella is the only member of the Neisseria Shea family that is capable of hydrolyzing DNAs. Okay, huwag niyong kakalimutan yon. The only Neisseria, sorry, the only species or the only member of the Neisseria Shea family capable of hydrolyzing DNAs is your Moraxella species. Okay. Now, for the culture media, for the culture media, blood, uh, blood agar plate and chocolate agar plate can be used for the isolation of this organism. Yun lang ang pwede mong gamitin, BAP and chocolate agar plate. You can, uh, you cannot use gonococcal media such as your Martin Lewis, your Theo Martin agar. Hindi mo pwedeng gamitin kasi uh, the growth of this organism can be inhibited by the antibiotics which is present in the gonococcal agar media. <clears throat> okay, now, aside from this um, biochemical test, we can also make use of butyrate esterase test. Okay, magpa-positive lang dyan si Moraxella cataralis. Okay, butyrate esterase test yielding now a blue uh, color as a positive result. Okay, blue color. Okay, butyrate esterase test, positive result is blue color. Now, for butyrate esterase test, butyrate, butyrate, butyrate esterase test, okay, ang specimen, ah, specimen, specimen na gagamitin natin dito is eye, <coughs> eye specimen or, sorry, eye culture or ear culture specimen okay for butyrate esterase test aside from your butyrate esterase test we can also make use of tributyrin hydrolysis test for the differential diagnosis of your moraxella cataralis okay we can also perform this one okay what is the principle of this test okay now actually your tributyrin ito tributyrin is a lipid substrate okay lipid substrate yan Okay, now yung lipid na yan, naka-incorporate yan sa agar plate, 
Now, since the organism is lipase positive, meron silang enzyme na tinatawag natin lipase. Okay. Now, in that manner, it is now capable of uh, hydrolyzing this lipid. Okay. Ang result niyan, the result of hydrolysis is demonstrated as a transparent, clear uh, zone around the colonies. Okay. So, merong clearing of the zone. <clears throat> clearing of the zone around the colonies, which is now our positive result for tributyrin hydrolysis test.